Tired of having a small or weak arm? Do you want to start doing arm workouts? Did you know that there are a lot of benefits if you start working out your arm every day? Yes, you heard it right. In today's video, we'll discuss what happens if you work out arms every day, so stay tuned and keep on watching this video. Let's go number one. You'll get bigger arm muscles tracking your progress in the gym can be tricky, but one metric is useful for people who want to grow their muscles training volume. According to a study published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise, is the best predictor of muscle growth. You can calculate your training volume for each exercise by multiplying the number of sets reps and the amount of weight together. For example, if you do a bicep curl with 10-pound dumbbells for three sets of 10 reps, that's 300 pounds of volume working your arms every day increases your training volume very quickly, you can increase your volume by adding another set to your workout. Using the bicep curl example, performing four sets instead of three gives you 400 pounds of volume. Adding another day per week of the same exercises doubles your volume. Adding more volume to your workouts helps you build muscle faster and can be particularly useful if your progress is slowing. Number two, you'll get stronger arms if you're more worried about the strength of your muscles than their size training your arms every day. Can still help, while it primarily helps with growing muscle, increasing your training volume also makes you stronger. A study published in Physiological Reports showed that increasing training volume helped muscles grow and get stronger, but it wasn't the best way. To increase strength using heavier weights was more important than increasing workout volume when it came to increasing strength. To get stronger, you can simply shift your focus in each workout to be more strength-based. Your volume will be increasing simply because you're working out more often, but you can tweak each workout by lowering the number of sets and or reps you do for each exercise. At the same time, you should increase the weight you use slightly to keep the exercises challenging, even if you don't, you'll continue getting stronger as your muscles grow bigger. Number three, you'll have a stronger grip. Bigger forearm muscles complement bigger arm muscles, and you can grow both if you work your arms every day. You'll also have more grip strength. Not only will that aid you with whichever arm exercise you choose, but a stronger grip also translates to other exercises like deadlifts or pull-ups, the stronger your grip is, the more weight you can handle in grip. Intensive exercises, while you can choose to target the large grip muscles that run up your forearm, you can simply work your arm muscles and improve your grip strength as an added bonus. A study published in Isokinetics and Exercise Science tested this theory by having a group of subjects perform multiple upper body exercises. They found that even a general program targeting the upper body was enough to improve grip strength. Working your arms every day should translate into added grip strength and larger forearm muscles, even if that's not your main goal. Number four, you'll get better at sports. Athletes can boost their performance by training their arms consistently, stronger. More muscular arms can be useful in sports that require a stronger upper body. Even tennis players, who you might not associate with stronger muscles, can benefit from daily arm workouts. A study published in the Budapest International Research and Critics in Linguistics and Education Journal found that players who have stronger grips were able to serve more accurately. The study shows that hand dexterity is improved by strength training. Not all athletes will benefit from strengthening their arms, though soccer players, for example, use little arm strength and primarily count on their legs. To do the work, keep in mind that playing a sport and lifting weights every day can result in an overuse injury, such as tendonitis if you experience pain in your shoulder, elbow, or wrist that could be why be sure to slowly integrate weight training or your sport back into your routine to see how it affects your body. Number five, you'll burn more calories. Every workout you do burns calories. While an arm workout might not seem like a major calorie burner, compared to running or lower body workouts, doing them every day can make a difference. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that subjects who lifted weights burned between 70 and 289 calories per session. 
The difference depends on factors like age, weight, gender, and the intensity of the workouts. In the study, the researchers note that more calories are burned after the workout as well. Researchers can tell that your body is burning calories after a workout by measuring something called post-exercise. Oxygen consumption, which measures how much oxygen your body uses after your workout compared to before. If you use more oxygen, that means your body is burning energy. The researchers also note that lifting weights can boost your metabolism, meaning you burn more calories in the long run. Number six, you'll get stress relief lifting weights seem stressful. And at the moment it is, you should be excited and motivated. To do each exercise to the best of your ability, that's a good form of stress, and that prepares your body to do work. However, constant stress can be harmful to the body. One way to combat this stress can be by working your arms every day in the gym. A paper published in Frontiers in Psychology investigated the effect of lifting weights on stress the researchers had subjects perform exercises at different intensities. They found that the group of people that performed low to moderate intensity weight training was the best for reducing anxiety. If you work out every day, you don't need to do very intense exercises. You can perform low to moderate intensity workouts and continue to make progress. Because you're exercising so much, the stress-relieving benefits of lifting weights were observed across a wide variety of people. According to the researchers, which means that it's probably helpful for most people, number seven, your risk for cardiovascular disease will go down. There are multiple factors that contribute to your risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Some are out of your control, such as age and family history of heart disease. Others, such as exercise, are in your control, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise. To reduce your risk for heart disease, aerobic exercise is endurance training, such as running, cycling, swimming, or walking, while aerobic exercise is often recommended for heart health. Resistance training can also reduce your risk for heart disease. A study published in the Journal of Science and Medicine in Sports found that women who lifted weights reduced their risk of developing cardiovascular disease without performing aerobic exercise. Training your arms every day for 30 minutes will give you 210 minutes of activity per week for someone concerned about cardiovascular disease. Daily arm workouts could be helpful. Number 8 you'll reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Those suffering from diabetes need ways to control their blood sugar medication can be very effective, but you might be looking for other ways to stay healthy and control your sugar levels diabetics. Benefit from regular physical activity, says the CDC. They even say that less than the recommended 150 minutes per week of activity can benefit someone with diabetes. More exercise is even more helpful. While aerobic exercise is helpful for reducing one's risk for diabetes, resistance training is equally as effective. In fact, a study published in Sports Medicine showed that regular resistance training reduced the risk of developing type 2 diabetes as much as changes in diet while you should strive to maintain a healthy diet. This study shows the power of resistance training for preventing type 2 diabetes note that the researchers in the study weren't investigating the effects of weight training on people with diabetes. They were looking at ways to reduce the risk of developing diabetes.